Let's discuss some USMLE updates that you must know for 2021 and some very important changes to the NBME for this year as well. There are updates for all the steps. So let's start with the USMLE step one. So this exam tests the basic sciences. However, there have been some content changes since last year, October. And that's the addition of more social sciences, ethics, and professionalism questions. The NBME offers practice tests for the USMLE Step 1. However, there weren't any content changes in those assessment forms to reflect the changes that occurred in October 2020 of last year. However, that will change on February 3rd, 2021, where the NBME will increase the number of questions assessing communication skills. So the number of questions will remain the same in the NBME practice test and in the actual exam. However, they are just increasing the number of communication skills questions to reflect the content changes that were made in October 2020. Currently, for the USMLE Step 1, there are 6 self-assessment forms, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. It was recently announced that in spring or summer of 2021 this year, there will be new practice tests for Step 1. We're still unsure about three main things, and that's 1. If the old self-assessments will be retired, if so, then how many? Two, what's the exact date? Like they said spring and summer, but that's basically half of the year. So we're not sure of the exact date as yet. And three, exactly how many more new self-assessments will be added? So hopefully those questions and more will be answered pretty soon. And now let's move on to the USMLE Step 2 CK exam. So there are two major updates for this exam. The first one being that there will be answers for the self-assessment forms. Well, the NBME did finally start this last year. However, the answers weren't available for all the forms. So currently, there are three subjects or rotations or clerkships, which are medicine, ob gyn and surgery. And currently, the NBME offers answers for all of these forms right now. And I think each of these subjects or clerkships or rotations, they both have about four forms each, three, four, five, and six. So there are explanations for those. So pediatrics also has four assessment forms and the answers for all of them were added on January 5th of this year. And neurology. So neurology currently does not have any explanations. However, they announced that on February 19th of this year, there will be explanations for all four neurology forms. And then we have psychiatry. So on March 8th, 2021, there will be answers for the psychiatry forms. However, there weren't any updates about emergency medicine. So hopefully they will address that soon and provide some answers or explanations for those forms as well. Just like the USMLE Step 1, for Step 2 CK, there will also be new assessment forms in spring or summer of this year. But like I said before, we still don't know if the old forms will be retired, how many new forms there will be, or the exact date. Because this whole thing is kind of very broad. Spring and summer, like, that's not specific at all. Currently, for Step 2 CK, there are three assessment forms and that's Forms 6, 7, and 8. So we will see how that changes with time. And now let's discuss Step 3. So currently there are two self-assessments for Step 3. However, on March 4th, 2021, answers for Form 5 will be added. 
there was no mention of new self-assessment forms being added for step three but at this point who knows we just have to wait and continue like just looking out for updates on the different exams and see what happens and finally we have step two cs which has been a roller coaster to say the least last year the assembly announced that step 2 cs would be suspended until june or july of this year however in late last year like around november they released another announcement and even a podcast about the changes for the assembly step 2 cs and they mentioned that they will be switching from an in-person hands-on exam to a computer exam in that update they also mentioned that they will be able to provide information regarding um, when they would implement these new changes to the cs and answer any questions which i know we all have so many questions about this in early 2021 i don't know if i'm just being impatient but it's early 2021 now and there are still no updates however i'm going to share with you my prediction on what the possible changes could be for the step 2 cs exam and my prediction is that the step 2 cs exam will probably be very similar to the step 3 ccs portion of that exam so for those of you who aren't familiar, for the step three exam, it's done in two days. Um, on the first day, or one of the days, it's multiple choice. And on another day, they do um, clinical cases where they're given a clinical vignette, and then you have about five to 20 minutes, depending on the case, to order all the necessary labs and diagnose and treat that patient accordingly. And of course that is an oversimplified way of saying everything, but that's the basic gist of how that portion of the step three exam is. So I think that for the step two CS exam, they would give you the patient information, just like how they would do um, in person where they had like the patient's information on the door, which was like, the patient's name, their their vitals, uh, their chief complaint, and that's about it. So I think that you'd see a prompt with that information first, and then after that, you have to choose like what questions you'd want to ask that patient. So they can do that in two different ways. Either we type the questions out, or we do it like step three where there would be questions already built into the system and you just have to check which questions you would have to ask and then after you click all of those questions and then the answers for them would pop up after that and then for the next portion of the test they would allow us to choose what examinations we'd like to do or special maneuvers we'd like to do for this patient and of course finally or differential diagnosis for this patient. So it'd be practically very similar to the in-person step 2 CS exam of what it used to be, but strongly resembling the layout or format of how the CCS portion of step 3 is. And that's my prediction for the step 2 CS exam. However, I still have more questions about how much would this cost, um, what is this an exam that you could only do in the US or could IMGs do it in their home country if the USMLE exam is offered in their home country like if they have a parametric site there and of course how exactly this would be scored so in summary for the USMLE step 1 and step 2 CK exams there will be new assessment forms in spring or summer of this year and also for the step 2 ck exam they're basically trying to add answers and explanations for all the subject forms that aren't already there with the exception of emergency medicine i guess and for step 3 there will be 
and answer for one of two of the assessment forms. And for step 2 CS, we are still waiting on updates, but I just provided you with my prediction of what changes could occur for the step 2 CS exam. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you like this content, be sure to power up the like button, hit subscribe and the notification bell so that you never miss another video like this. And whenever new updates will come out, I will be sure to upload another video. Thank you so much for watching and to continue learning more, click this video right here.